Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I am gonna be trying out for the first time the new NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer, as well as the primer and the foundation and see how they work out for me. I'm pretty sure that this one, yes, it says that it is a full coverage foundation, which is something that I really like in a foundation. That's what I prefer. And actually broke out a few days ago, two days ago, I waxed my eyebrows and my lip, so now I broke out. So I'm really gonna be able to see how this covers up. And I got it in the color Warm Vanilla. I always try to get a warm shade or a golden shade or something like that too. That's, that's what's really been working for me. And I'm also gonna use the primer. This is a matte primer. And then the concealer, I got it in the color medium olive so i'm hoping that it's not too dark for me i hope it's kind of like my skin tone maybe a shade lighter so i'm also going to be using a new makeup sponge this is the morphe contour and highlighting sponge yeah that's what it's called i don't have the box but that's what it's called this one's actually a recommendation or not like specifically to me <laughs> but um it's another youtuber here her name is the mexican beauty and she always talks about how great this one is so i wanted to try it and I'm gonna see how it works. It feels a little hard though compared to like the Beauty Blender and stuff. So I'm not sure how it's gonna feel for me, but we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off with my moisturizer first. I didn't apply that yet. And well, I applied it before my brows, but I always apply it twice. This one is the uh, Drunk Elephant Serum right here for dry skin or it's for all skin types, but I use it. I have dry skin and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face. Only thing I've done so far is my brows. I cleaned them up with concealer and then I have some lip balm. So here is the way that the primer looks. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. I just shook it a little bit. Let me take off this little sticker there. See if it wants to come out. It's like stuck in there. Oh, it's really, really thick. Look at how weird that came out. It's like just there <laughs> that looks weird okay oh it's really hard okay not anymore now it feels a little bit like that benefit professional one i'll go ahead and apply this all over my face and this is a mattifying primer oh man it dries pretty quickly like it already feels hard like I can barely move it around. I think with this one I have to work with it like in sections. But it's like crumbling up a little bit. Okay, so uh, that feels kind of weird because it just kind of now is like rubbing off. Like I see the little white pieces and it didn't really let me spread it around. Let me just, I need a little bit more on like this area. But it doesn't let me spread it out. I don't like the way that this feels. I don't know, it's just mine but it's like really really hard so i'm gonna grab some of this one which is the professional that i've been using lately this is a matte primer and i'm gonna use this one on this side this one's really smooth it's a gel and i'm just gonna try this one on this side of my face i mean i already applied a little bit of the nyx one but but i didn't spread it out everywhere because it wouldn't let me and now we're getting a lot of little things there it's like glue Ugh. No! <laughs> this is the thing with first impressions, is like you see how it works with diff with like one thing only. And then I have to try it again with like other products to see if it'll actually work. But I don't think the, the primer is going to work for me. It's just way too hard. And it feels stiff on this side. This side doesn't anymore. I have all the little things around my desk. Okay, go ahead and just put it on the back of my hand. It seems like the shade is going to work out for me. I hope so. This feels kind of hard. I guess the shade doesn't look too bad. It looks okay. It looks a little light. I thought I actually got one that was like a little dark for me. But I can see the primer underneath it big time. Like it looks so dry on that area where the primer is. Around my nose. Everywhere. This looks bad. It looks like I'm like a like a face mask you know how they're kind of thick once you apply them and then you let them sit there and they dry that's how that looks it's not giving me an even coverage either it's like not good oh yeah i can see it over here now it's like i'm gonna have to take this off because it's not gonna be a good it's just not gonna give me like a full look at how the actual foundation works because of the primer 
I have used matte primers before and they don't do this. So yeah, this looks really bad. Okay, so hopefully you can see that it is really, really dry everywhere that the primer just kind of like got stuck to my face. It looks really, really dry and it makes the foundation look uneven. And then over here where the primer dried, I can see where the white spots are. So I know that it's the foundation. I mean the primer. I put the, the light down a little bit more because I felt like it was just way too bright. Right there. And then on this side you can see all the white. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this off and then I'll come back and apply just my regular matte primer. And then I'll go back into the foundation. So that way I can get a good try of the foundation today. Because this one is just leaving it really... It's like stuck. It's like a, if it was glue or something. So you can see how spotty it looks on this side. It doesn't even let me do like an even layer of it because it's getting stuck on like the, the primer patches. I took everything off. I, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my moisturizer again. Oh, it feels much better <laughs> because that primer was making my face feel like really, really hard. And I also went ahead and I <clears throat> grabbed my beauty blender because this other one is feeling really hard. It's new, so it's like I'm not used to it and maybe I shouldn't do a first impression using a sponge that I haven't used either. And this one is just like a lot softer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my professional the matte rescue this one is way different this is a gel and i'm not picky about primers like i'm okay with trying new ones i was actually excited about it because it goes with the foundation it should be like the perfect match you know i'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation again okay so again it still looks really really thin but now it's applying evenly really really thin i don't know it looks kind of like a medium coverage though hmm I can, I can still see my redness on my cheeks and my forehead. Here's where I broke out the most. Well, I still have it on my lip because I waxed my lip and my eyebrows. That to me it looks medium coverage for sure. Like, I would even say light to medium coverage. So I'm going to go over it one more time. Alright, so that gave me a little bit more coverage. Still though, I don't feel like it is a complete full. Because I have full foundations and they actually look completely even. And right now I can see, I can still see pink and everything like that. I'm not going to add another layer just because I don't want it to be like too many layers. But to me, the full coverage part is not looking full coverage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply the other side with my brush and see how that works out see how it blends out okay so yeah I don't feel like I have to do a second layer on this side with the brush it was just like the beauty blender side I guess it thins it out even more the finish of it is okay now now that it dried I don't feel like it looks bad the only area that does is my nose look at how it just kind of builds up over here and all around my nose and it looks really it looks bad so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and continue with my concealer, which is the same. The NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And like I said, I got it in the color Medium Olive. Go ahead and apply this on my under eyes. Oh yeah, I didn't get one super light, but now it looks kind of orange. This is going to be a fail video <laughs> because nothing's coming out good. No, maybe it's fine. Hopefully it doesn't change like once it dries. No, that looks completely orange. Like this looks really bad. That's my fault. I got this shade and I thought it would work for me because some of the other ones just looked way too pink and way too white to where it's just going to make me look crazy, you know, with way too much brightness on my under eye area. And I don't want that. So I can't try it. I mean, I can, but it looks orange. Yeah, I'm just going to mix it. I'm going to have to mix it. It seems like the formula is nice and creamy. Uh, you know, once I'm applying it, it's so easy to apply. I mean, blend out. It's easy to blend out. It actually feels really good. But it's just the color of it that looks bad on me because it's not my shade. So this isn't going to work. My face looks so crazy. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I don't even know if I should like, you know, tell you the time right now. Well, I still have to set it, but right now it's 10.07. And 
I have to wear this all day and I'm not I mean I can but I mean it doesn't look good it just looks orange on my under eyes the rest of my face looks uneven like everything looks bad so I don't know what I should do if I should like put another concealer on and try the foundation that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and go with it I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Huda Beauty concealer and just go with it okay this color looks much better looks a little bit better over here it looks like I'm like fake tan on my under eyes that looks much much better with my under eyes and I went over it a little bit with the sponge like with the concealer that I already had and my nose looks so much better but the concealer of course like I said it's my fault because that's the shade that I chose I just figured it would be a fine like a fine shade a good shade because of the color selection that they have and like the undertones I felt like that one would work for me but it doesn't and even like the way that it looks on the outside looks like it, it's a good match it even looks pretty similar to the foundation maybe a little bit darker right but it doesn't look too bad compared to the foundation it just doesn't look orange the way that it looks on my face so what I'm gonna do is set everything I'm gonna use the covergirl setting powder and I'm using this one because I use this one all the time so it's one that I already know works okay, so this is it for the application part and like I said it is 10 now it's 10 13 there you go and I'm just gonna wear it throughout the day uh, the way that it looks with the setting powder now, it looks good. I do like how it set my my foundation. This powder always does a really good job. So my under eyes, they look much better with the concealer, but I still feel like it looks a little orangey. I have no idea how this is going to look throughout the day, and I don't know how it's going to look later on. Once I come back, um, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup later on once I film that video, and that's if I film that video. <laughs> I do feel kind of like like my makeup looks cakey for sure sometimes they can feel really lightweight and nice which I don't mind wearing full coverage like I said I really like full coverage foundations but this one it's like one of those that I can really feel it on my face I don't know it's just me so anyways like I said it is 10 something so I will check back in later on in a few hours and that will be my last check-in and I'll tell you how it looks and wears throughout the day so I'll see you guys later oh so far uh, I'm not liking it <laughs> okay so I'm back and right now it's 8.47. It's not super late right now, but I'm ready to take off the foundation. And plus, it's been a few hours and there's not really much else that's probably going to change. Um, this is going to be one of the worst foundations <laughs> I've ever tried. And right now, well, you can see how it looks. And I decided not to do a tutorial because I usually do film like maybe my eye look or something like that. So that way I can film like two videos in one day, you know, but today I decided not to because and because I couldn't because just look at the way that this looks. It's just first of all, the concealer is really, really orange. And I know that it's like the way that I chose it. I chose this color. Like I said, it's medium olive, but it honestly doesn't look that dark in the bottle. And then the foundation is a little bit light on me, but not too bad. Like it's still one of those foundations that I can work with once I apply bronzer, blush, and everything you know it kind of pulls it all together so that's not too bad for it one thing though is that now it looks a lot better than what it did at the beginning I'm still giving it like the pros because there are some good things about it it does look better now and it looks better maybe like an hour afterwards but it still looks really bad it looks better than at the beginning but it looks really bad I would not feel like this is a good foundation for someone with dry skin at all if you have dry skin and you like it please let me know what it is that you like about it because I don't feel like it looks good at all it makes my skin look and feel stretchy this one for sure I like it at, I don't like it at all like zero it just looks really dry you saw how flaky it was and just how hard it was on my face maybe I just got a bad one because I don't think that they would actually try this and like sell it so I think maybe it was just that I don't know you tell me if you tried this this primer but as far as the foundation I don't like it I don't feel like it did anything good for my skin it looks really dry it looks like my skin is stretchy so yeah as you can see it looks a little shinier around my nose but even though it got oily it's still really dry looking I look cake face for sure I look like I have tons of makeup on and I didn't even apply that many layers of it like I said you can still see the pinker on my face but it looks really really dry and cakey so yeah I feel like I had two fells actually all three the primer first of all really bad the foundation it just it looks really dry 
but that's not so much of a bad fail and the font the concealer is just really really orange so this video is kind of like all over the place <laughs> like there were a lot of things that went wrong including the way that i was trying to apply it at first with that morphe sponge i'm still gonna try that sponge out with maybe another foundation that i do like and i didn't want to say the pros to the concealer just because i got the wrong shade but the formula still felt very creamy and it did blend out easily blend it out as in the way that it looks not that it blended into my skin because obviously it didn't it's orange so yes you guys that is pretty much it for today's video i hope it helped you out let me know if you've tried any of these three products um and thank you so much for watching another one of my videos and i will see you in my next one bye